Thank you so much for coming to Miami-Dade Water and Sewer Department's Wastewater Treatment Plan here at South District. Uh, we're honored to have our uh, dignitaries here from Washington, D.C., our local commissioners. And I just wanted to share that in the 10 years that I've worked for the Miami-Dade Water and Sewer Department, this has been one of the most exciting 12-hour spans of time in my duration in the department. Uh, last night was our Florida section, American Water Works Region 7, uh, best tasting drinking water test and Miami-Dade County, drum roll please, was designated the best tasting drinking water in Dade County. So I think that's a, a great harbinger of things to come. This morning we had the fabulous, we had the fabulous signing of uh, the WIFIA loan agreement between EPA Administrator Andrew Wheeler and our uh, esteemed Mayor Carlos Jimenez. Uh, and I think that that is just going to show even more of a commitment of our department on behalf of our county of being ecologically, environmentally sensitive to our community and the needs for the future. Uh, these deep well injection wells will allow us to be compliant with state mandates by 2025. Uh, another example of how we are being progressive and advanced in our thinking for our commitment to the environment. I love to always point out that uh, at this plant and at Central District we have a, a program with our methane sequestration where we actually capture the methane gases uh, during our treatment process and we're able to convert it into electricity that powers part of the plant. Not only is that a benefit that we don't have to use electricity from the power grid from FPNL, but it's reusing that methane gas that we no longer have to burn off into the atmosphere. Uh, to give that perspective, the power that we convert into electricity is uh, the two plants is the equivalent of powering 2,810 homes with electricity for an entire year. So I think that's just a great example of how we're using our resources to the best of our opportunity. So with that, I know we have some exciting uh, comments that are going to be uh, shared with you. And I know that our uh, visiting dignitaries from Washington, D.C. are thrilled to be here. I hear that the weather is 48 degrees and raining in D.C. So uh, I, I think we ordered up a great day for them. So you could be anywhere else. But today you're at a sewer plant in Miami-Dade, and we couldn't be happy more, more happy to have you here. So with that, Mayor Jimenez, please come on up. Thank you so much, Jennifer. And, and um, you know, we, we do have great tasting water here. And so we're going to start to bottle that water. And just like the French sell us Perrier, we're, our, our water is going to be called Miami, and we're going to sell it to the French. <laughs> and they'll buy it, too. All right. Thank you for the introduction again. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to our congressman, Congress, Congressman Mario diaz Ballart. Uh, our uh, federal partners, we love our federal partners. They're great to work with, and they're always cooperating with us and always making Miami-Dade County a, a greater place and a better place. Also, I have, uh, I have to uh, also acknowledge the presence of, of uh, Commissioner Daniela levine Cobb. I believe this is your district, uh, Commissioner? Yes, District 8. Great 8, right? Uh, 8 is great. And so we're here in her district, and then Commissioner from District 1, Barbara Jordan. Thank you so much for being here. Today, Miami-Dade County is honored to have uh, just become the first, one of the first communities in the nation to take part in the Water Infrastructure Finance and Innovation Act. I believe that's called WIFIA, WIFIA, the WIFIA Act. On behalf of uh, the Miami-Dade County and our 2.7 million residents who will directly benefit from the cleaner water that this program will ensure, I would like to extend a warm welcome to Andrew Wheeler, Deputy Administrator of the Environmental Protection Agency. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Mr. Wheeler, for signing this historic agreement with our county, this EPA loan, will provide $99.7 million, almost $100 million, in critical funding for our county's water and sewer departments to construct 14 new injection wells. These, there are major financial advantages for our residents built into this loan agreement. By utilizing this important funding opportunity, WASDE's ratepayers will be saved $27 million in interest costs over the life of this loan. That's a tremendous amount of savings for the people of Miami-Dade. Thank you again, EPA. Thank you again, Congressman, for bringing it down. I want to thank WASDE Director Kevin Linsky and our elected officials for all their work leading up to today's signing ceremony. The 14 wells will be constructed with this uh, funding. will be located at three of our county's wastewater treatment plants. The wells uh, will capture treated wastewater that is currently being discharged into the ocean. Once these much-needed wells are completed, our county will be in full compliance with the state regulatory requirements designed to ensure the safety of our water and our sewer system. In addition to meeting state regulations, these wells will help make our county's wastewater system much more resilient for dealing with extreme weather events because these wells will be built to withstand, withstand storm surges. This is an especially important proactive measure for us to undertake since the county's wastewater treatment plants are located on the coast. 
and therefore they are more vulnerable to the impact of rising sea levels. Making wise use of our multi-year capital improvement plan, Miami-Dade County continues, continuously looks for innovative ways to implement new technologies that will help guarantee our community's resilience to whatever challenges the future may hold. Looking ahead, WASD is already being considered for additional WIFIA funding on other major projects. So our prospects are bright for dealing, dealing head on with these issues. And now I'd like to turn this over to, uh, to Mr. Wheeler to um, have a few comments. And again, look for Miami, it's great water, buy it. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Jimenez, for the introduction. It's a privilege to be here today with you, your team, and community leaders from across South Florida. I want to give a special thank you to Congressman um, Diaz Barla for, for joining us today. And I also want to recognize the Miami Dade County Commissioners in attendance. Thank you. Our mission at EPA is to ensure that all Americans, regardless of their zip code, have clean air, clean water, and clean land. We can't accomplish our mission with outdated or ineffective infrastructure, which is why modernizing our nation's infrastructure and protecting our water resources is a top priority for President Trump. His visit to Lake Okeechobee last week illustrates how important these issues are to him. I was with him yesterday afternoon at the White House discussing the opportunity revitalization zones um, around the country, and Miami has several of them here, and we hope that this project will help revitalize some of the communities here and provide safer water and infrastructure for for the entire Miami community. At EPA, we are delivering on, president, on the President's agenda by providing the financing to get much needed water projects off the ground. Through our Water Infrastructure Finance and Innovation Act, with the loan program, we are able to provide long-term, low-cost supplemental loans for water-related projects throughout the nation. These loans fulfill several of the President's top priorities in one fell swoop, upgrading infrastructure, creating jobs, in protecting public health and the environment. And that's exactly what we're here to accomplish. We're delighted to announce a new $99.7 million, I'm not sure why we couldn't round up to 100, but $99.7 <laughs> million WIFI loan to Miami-Dade County to finance advanced wastewater infrastructure upgrades. I want to thank our EPA staff who worked on this loan. Uh, specifically, I believe they're here with us today on the following people, um, Ariel Gernstein, Alex Morant and Don Tom Wen, are you the three of you here? Yes. Thank you. And the, they actually deserve the thanks for getting this done. Using this loan, the Miami Dade Water and Sewer Department will construct deep injection wells at its three wastewater treatment plants. This approach will redirect treated wastewater from the ocean outfalls to these wells, which will help keep Florida's beaches clean and pristine. The use of these advanced technologies will not only protect the health of our oceans, but will also create valuable new jobs. And the construction of these wells will benefit the two million county residents by increasing the availability of reclaimed water for reuse and improving the management of water flows during heavy rains or storms. In addition to the WIFI loan, the Florida Department of Environmental Protection will finance approximately $60 million of the project through its state revolving fund. Both the WIFIA program and the State Revolving Fund offer low interest rates, so the county is expected to generate significant cost savings. The WIFIA loan alone will save the county more than $15 million compared to typical bond issuance. This loan marks EPA's eighth WIFIA loan to close to date. Combined, these loans will provide $2 billion in WIFIA credit assistance while creating 6,000 jobs across the country, and that is just the beginning. We've issued two rounds of funding so far, and last week I toured a water recycling plant in Denver and announced the availability of the third round of WIFIA funding. That round was just announced today in the Federal Register, so people can apply for those loans starting today. The funding will provide roughly $6 billion in WIFIA loans, which could support $12 billion in water infrastructure investment and create over 180,000 jobs. Prospective borrowers must submit a letter of interest within 90 days of the Federal Register notice. So you have to have your letter in by July 5th. So if you know of any other construction-ready projects, please encourage them to apply between now and July 5th for, the, for this third round of funding. We are delighted to have the opportunity to announce this loan right here in Miami. 
and we intend to announce many more like it under the President. Since we are here in South Florida, I would be remiss not to mention EPA's other efforts to help protect Florida's waters. The President was here last week to highlight the progress being made on Lake Okeechobee. The dike repair project was originally scheduled to be completed in 2025, but President Trump made it a top priority to work with Congress to secure the funding needed and now construction is expected to finish in 2022. On top of this, last year the President signed legislation authorizing the Everglades Agricultural Area Storage Reservoir, which is a critical component of the comprehensive Everglades Restoration Plan, SERP. EPA also works with the Army Corps and South Florida Water Management District on several other SERP projects, including the Loxahatchee River Watershed Restoration Project and the Western Everglades Restoration Project. The reservoir will send clean water south to the Everglades while reducing harmful discharge events from Lake Okeechobee. The President is committed to supporting the reservoir project and I know that his administration, Governor DeSantis and state leaders like Congressman Diaz Bartlett are working closely to get it completed as soon as possible. At EPA, we are working across multiple fronts to help Florida protect its waterways and drinking water. EPA research is the foundation for much of the work being done to address the problems of excess nutrients in water bodies, including the harmful algae blooms apps. In February, we released an important new strategy to promote innovative market-based mechanisms to address excess nutrients in surface waters. On drinking water, EPA developed health advisories and tools to help Florida and its public water systems predict and manage algal blooms. We also provide considerable technical assistance, including working with Florida DEP to understand which drinking water systems could be impacted by the algal blooms. And as part of the new interagency effort, EPA is working with the Departments of Agriculture and Interior on tools to better plan for and respond to HAP occurrences. We're also working together on land management practices that will reduce non-point sources of nutrients that contribute to HAPs. These various water issues are vital to Florida's health and prosperity. I can assure you that these issues are a top priority for this president and his administration. There's a lot of important work being done at the state level, but now we have new leadership in D.C. needed to take these efforts to the next level. Thank you for your time and for your attention, and please help us spread the news about the WIFIA program. This is a program that is good for public health, it's good for the environment, and it's good for the economy. We need more projects across Florida and the rest of the nation to apply. It's now my privilege to introduce Representative Mario Diaz Bartlett, Congressman for Florida's 25th District, Senior Member of the House Committee on Appropriations, and thank you for the help in getting all the money. Thank you, sir. Thank you. What a uh, privilege it is to be with all of you this morning. Let me first thank Mr. Wheeler for uh, for being here, but for but frankly for uh, for your service, for your service and the work you do. Uh, um, you know, those are uh, there's uh, so many unsung heroes, right? Uh, and uh, so, also want to thank uh, my dear friend Mayor Jimenez for his leadership uh, and for years of, of service to this to this community. And again, speaking of friends, these two uh, county commissioners who it's a privilege to work with. Good to see you as well. Uh, Jennifer mentioned that uh, uh, that being here uh, in uh, in a in a, in a uh, sewer plant in Miami Dade County is. Uh, is not a bad thing to be at this time of the year, and, and I would add, yes, you're right. It's it's actually probably nicer to be this time of year in a sewer plant in Miami Dade than in most places around the planet. Uh, and so, Jennifer, also thank you for the work that you do. Look, I'm also glad to be here during this historic moment, signing of this loan as an appropriator. Uh, look, I know how important this program is uh, to localities across the nation. Uh, I was pleased to work on getting the funding and support its funding uh, uh, through committee and on the floor. Uh, I want to mention two other of my colleagues who are also South Florida appropriators. We work exceedingly closely together, and that is uh, Congresswoman uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Lois Frankel, um, who, again, uh, we work and we conspire together constantly on making sure that that, uh, that, that Florida and Southern Florida is, uh, is treated well and through the appropriations process. And I'm ecstatic to, to see it having a direct impact right here in South Florida today. Uh, I've worked on funding for this program. I know how far these dollars will go in our county. And again, you're right, uh, Mr. Administrator, you're, you're talking about almost $100 million. Uh, even for the federal government, 
That's real money. That's real money. It's going to have a long impact, long-lasting impact uh, uh, on our wastewater treatment plant. Uh, and again, as was already mentioned, it's going to save the taxpayers here in Miami-Dade County almost $30 million. And beyond that, this loan, as you heard, will help bring uh, here about 95 new jobs and help the environment. What is there not to like uh, about this, frankly, very important project? Uh, again, I, I want to thank the Trump administration for continuing to invest uh, in a priority of uh, the president, a priority of mine, uh, and that's uh, our nation's infrastructure. Uh, you know, I've chaired for a number of years a transportation, housing, and urban development subcommittee of appropriations. Now I'm the ranking member, and it's something that uh, I've been very, working very, very aggressively on. They continue, the administration continues to, uh, to uh, support and to emphasize infrastructure, and also, by the way, emphasize the creating the creation of jobs and the, and the increase and the boosting of our economy. I'm sure you heard the last numbers, right? Just reported, the last job report, almost 200,000 additional jobs. Uh, national unemployment is at 3.8%. By the way, those, there have been jobs created all throughout the country, including, including in uh, something that many people thought was impossible, manufacturing. Manufacturing is coming back into the United States. Recently here in Miami-Dade County, I was at the U.S. Foundry, uh, and again, a lot of folks don't really understand that we have manufacturing here in Miami-Dade County, and they're doing great, uh, and they're prospering, and they're doing wonderfully well. Uh, and that wasn't done with a magic wand as some people said it required, that it was impossible. It was done by you, when you lower the taxes on the American people and you get rid of unnecessary uh, regulations. In other words, you free up the American worker. It's amazing what can get done. Uh, the mayor and I were talking about it's, the, frankly, the antithesis to socialism. And you're seeing the results in the entire country, and you're seeing it here, and frankly, uh, because of the leadership of the mayor and the county and, and the county commission, the unemployment rate here is even lower, uh, correct, Mayor, than it is on the national level. 3.5. 3.5. Look, I cannot uh, thank Administrator Wheeler enough uh, for your commitment to our nation, uh, for uh, uh, signing this loan, for coming here, by the way, to signing this loan. I look forward to this project being completed and seeing the tremendous impact on the county, on our environment, on creating jobs and so many other things. So thank you. Uh, uh, I, I now want to introduce a person who, uh, we, as, the, as the mayor said, we are in uh, her district. She has a rather large district, not, not as large as mine, but I know you spend a lot of time in the car as well. And uh, it's a privilege uh, to introduce uh, County Commissioner Daniela Levine Cava. Definitely things are great in eight. Uh, Congressman, we can truly say you brought home the water. <laughs> a new one, that's right. So we all are here because water is fundamental. And I see this as a win, win, win. And I thank you, Mr. Mayor and Director Linsky for uh, having the foresight to apply and hopefully we'll be applying for some more of these opportunities as were mentioned. And to uh, Administrator Wheeler for allowing us to be one of the very first to receive this important grant, and our Department of Environmental Protection here in the state of Florida for also uh, being part of this. So the partnership in this infrastructure financing program is, is really essential because local governments like ours in Miami-Dade have struggled to deal with these infrastructure issues on our own, and we need partnerships with our state and federal government. This is a significant step towards establishing a much-needed partnership now and for the future, and it will ensure that we have safe and effective management of our wastewater, and it will help us meet the mandate, the important mandate from the state to eliminate the discharges of our treated wastewater into the ocean. Uh, so I'm looking forward to future collaboration with EPA on this and other water infrastructure investments, and I'm especially hopeful that this will lead to the partnerships uh, that have been mentioned about the Everglades, because everything is uh, integrated here. These uh, water, uh, reuse water is also an important part of recharging our west wetlands right here where we sit, uh, benefiting Everglades National Park and uh, Biscayne National Park. So this is hopefully a new chapter in our linkage to the all-important all important 
water issues for uh, South Florida. Uh, and as your water warrior, I welcome Mr. Wheeler back again and again for announcements such as this. Thank you. Thank you so very much, everyone. So this concludes the actual speaking portion of the event, and I think it's just so great that we are able to highlight this, the different activities that our department is doing, because unfortunately, uh, the work that we do, the improvements that we do for a water and sewer utility is this, it's invisible infrastructure. You can see a bridge getting built or a building getting built or a road getting improved, but unfortunately, too many times when people think, well, they don't think, that's, a pro that's the, the problem, is that people don't think about their water and their sewer for the most part, and that's great. We don't want you to have to think about your water and your sewer because that means that something wrong is happening. The water is not coming out of the tap or, or it, you're not able to flush the toilet. But in this case, um, when we are being able to tout the advances that we're making, uh, we hope that you all will bring this back and the information that we are sharing with you and the great work we're, we're doing here in Miami-Dade County because just because it's out of sight doesn't mean it's out of mind and we are working on this each and every day. Our more than 2,500 employees that are working towards that goal to bring reliable wastewater removal from your home and safe drinking water to and most delicious drinking water to your homes on a daily basis. So with that, uh, we will have a media availability. If uh, Administrator Wheeler, Mayor Jimenez, and Congressman diaz Villart would come up here, and if we have any questions from the media, uh, we can uh, answer those at that time. Uh, after that, thank you so very much for coming, and I hope you ha have a wonderful rest of your Friday and a great weekend. Any questions? We have, uh, it's long term, it's something that we have to, have to tackle. It's one of my, frankly, one of the things that keeps me up at night. Um, and uh, we, we're going to have to, whether people like it or not, tackle um, what is causing, and we have a spending problem, is what we have. As you know, more than 70 cents of every dollar that uh, the federal government spends is mandatory spending. And I think we've done a pretty good job in tackling uh, discretionary spending over the years. But until we tackle mandatory spending, and those are crucial programs, until we tackle that, um, uh, this is going to continue to be a problem, and it's a problem that every day that's not, that is not tackled uh, becomes more difficult to, uh, to address. As you know, in the past, uh, I've been willing to take tough positions uh, to save and to help uh, shore up those critical programs like so Social Security and Medicare. Um, uh, while also reforming them so that, we, so that they can be there for future generations and so that uh, we don't continue to grow the deficit. Uh, it, it is an issue that has to be dealt with. The sooner it's dealt with, the easier and the better it is for everybody. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Mayor, why don't you start and then... Sobre tax cuts? No, you don't want to... No. Voy a hablar sobre... sobre et, um, Este préstamo del, del, um, del Departamento de Protección en, eh, del Medio Ambiente del, del Gobierno Federal. Eh, eh, tuvimos eh, una gran oportunidad, también eh, una suerte, también el, por el trabajo del, del congresista Mario díaz Ballard uh, y el EPA, que recibimos este préstamo de 99.7 millones de dólares eh, para ciertos proyectos aquí de agua encantarillado. Agua encantarillado, si no tienes agua encantarillado en una, en una comunidad, no tienes una comunidad. Esto es, puede ser el departamento más importante para lo que es la civilización. Tienes que tener agua, tienes que tener alcantarillado para la salud de nosotros. Así que para, para nosotros es, es un orgullo, también estamos muy contentos que el EPA, eh, el Departamento de, de Protección del de Medio Ambiente de los, de los Estados Unidos, nos han dado este préstamo que va a reducir eh, la deuda de nosotros, de los, de los residentes del condado de Miami-Dade, por 27 millones de dólares. Es un programa que eh, está establecido por toda la nación, ha creado muchos empleos. La infraestructura de los Estados Unidos, también la infraestructura aquí en el condado de Miami, Miami-Dade, es vital para la, la economía, es vital para el desarrollo económico. Tenemos que invertir en, nuestro, en nuestra infraestructura para asegurar que tenemos oportunidades, trabajo, no solamente para nosotros, pero también para, para nuestros niños y nuestros, uh, y nuestros uh, nietos, uh, que es muy importante. Esa es la deuda que nosotros lo dejamos a ellos, un mejor Miami-Dade, una mejor nación. Y este, y este préstamo has, va, nos va a ayudar 
hacer la infraestructura, terminar la infraestructura necesaria para limpiar eh, lo que lo, limpiar este el, lo que estamos haciendo hoy en día en términos del medio ambiente va, lo va a hacer mucho más limpio, vamos a dejar un mejor planeta para nuestros niños y nuestros nietos. Gracias, alcalde. Gracias por recordarnos. Uh, es un privilegio trabajar con el alcalde, con el, la comisión, con, le, con el Estado y particularmente con, también con la administración del presidente Trump. Aquí estamos trayendo casi 100 millones de dólares para ayudar al medio ambiente, para crear eh, casi 100 empleos nuevos uh, y para reducir el costo al contribuyente del Miami-Dade County por 30 millones de dólares casi. Eh, esto es un proyecto eh, que se logra por la cooperación que existe entre el nivel local, estatal y federal. Eh, y es un privilegio poder estar aquí eh, participando eh, y ver los resultados de cuando se trabaja junto, cómo se puede traer de Washington fondos adicionales y, y fondos serios, sustanciales para proyectos que ayudan al medio ambiente a crear empleos y a reducir el costo al contribuyente. Estoy, uh, este es un privilegio poder participar con nuestros colegas en este proyecto tan importante para el sur de la Florida. It's very important that uh, we've get the, we got this loan from uh, from the EPA, and I got to thank uh, the congressman and congressman congressman Mario Diaz Velart, uh, our delegation up uh, in Washington, also um, Administrator Wheeler. Thank you. This is a $100 million uh, WIFI loan that uh, will reduce the cost of Miami-Dade County to about almost $30 million. So that's a real savings to, our, to, our, to the residents of Miami-Dade County. But it also allows us to uh, create jobs here in Miami-Dade County and also clean our environment. This is a, this is a project that's need, needed in order for us to comply with state regulations. It's something that we're happy to do. We're also very happy that we have the help of the federal government in accomplishing this uh, very, very important task. Uh, we're in the midst of the largest public works project in Miami-Dade County history, which is the entire redo of the water and sewer infrastructure here. If you don't have water and sewer uh, a department, if you don't have clean water and you don't have a way to, uh, to treat wastewater, you don't have a city, you don't have a county, you actually stop economic development. And so this project is vital to the economy of Miami-Dade County. It's, it's vital to the economic development of Miami-Dade County. And as the, the congressman uh, talked about, the creation of jobs, if you don't have clean water and sewer infrastructure, you can't create those jobs. And so those jobs are vital to the well-being of Miami-Dade County. They're vital uh, to the quality of life of our residents here in Miami-Dade County. This is much more important than people think. It's water, it's sewer, you don't think about it. If you don't have it, you don't have a town, you don't have a county, you don't have a city. Thank you. It's, it's specifically, it will help fund 14 deep water injection wells at the three water treatment plants here in Miami-Dade County. It's going to help stop that wastewater from going to the oceans. So also clean up the oceans as well. Yeah, we're going to need our state and federal partners in order for us to accomplish that. Uh, we have a lot of people that are on sewer, on, I'm sorry, on septic tanks, and uh, we need to slowly convert that and, and start to convert the more vulnerable areas and then move, move inland. But we, uh, we absolutely are going to face that problem. We are facing that problem. We are, we're going to need our federal partners and our state partners to help us uh, resolve it. Uh, most of it, a lot of it is economic. It's a $3 billion problem that we have to, that we have to face. The homeowners that currently have septic tanks now, they're going to, you know, some of it's going to be on, on them uh, as they connect. But, uh, we, you know, we need to bring that infrastructure, you know, everywhere in here in this county.